Hey, hey, it's Leanne and Simon on Loving Life Now. And uh, welcome to our Facebook Live this week. Welcome. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Thanks for the introduction. <laughs> so we're waiting on a, a couple of people to join us. And while we do that, I'm going to do some sharing so you can talk to everybody. All right. Well, a big welcome to everybody that's joining us and watching the recording. Uh, for those that are joining, uh, pop your name in the comments and let us know that you're here. Uh, we've got a great topic this evening called What's Holding You Back? And uh, look, I've literally just driven in the driveway here at home and yeah. uh, come from a two-hour drive. So uh, I haven't seen and, you since Thursday. No, no, I haven't been here since Thursday. And now here I am on Facebook Live with you. Um, we've had a quick kiss and a quick hello. And that's, and that's Don't it. Tell everyone. <laughs> Don't kiss and tell. <laughs> All right, so if you've just joined us, a big, big welcome. Uh, pop your details in the comments. Let us know you're here. You can see everyone coming on. G'day, Shani. How I'm just are sharing you? some Good stuff. Good evening. Lee's just sharing it across the pages. Who else have we got out there? Pop your details in. Let us know you're here. I'd love to welcome you to our Facebook Live this evening. As I said, great topic. What's holding you back? We'll talk about that shortly. And, um, well, certainly nothing was holding me back when I just drove two hours from the Sunshine Coast. No. Uh, to the Gold Coast in, and it was actually the rain wasn't bad. Only rained right at the end, and had a clear run. You did, you did a record clear time. run. Yeah, two hours from uh, my old place on the Sunshine Coast at the hospital there, where I've been for the last week with my mum and uh, Kelly Adams. Hello, hi Kelly, hi Ida, how are you? And um, yeah, sort of drove home and knew I had to be back in time for our Facebook <laughs> Live. And of course, um, Faye, I can yes. see you there. So uh, hi to you. Okay, one more share to do. So again, if you've just joined us, uh, pop your details in, say good day, I'd love to welcome you. Hi, Nikki over there in WA, great to have you on our Facebook Live. Hey, Paul, good to see you there. We'll give you a wave back. There you go. Um, so wave back at Paul. Who else is out there? Pop your details in. Like I said, I'd love to welcome you. So Georgina, welcome. I'm sorry, it was Georgia. Georgia. My apologies, Georgia. Hey, Georgia. Welcome. I feel weird. I keep looking at myself. I look like I've got no hair. <laughs> like... <laughs> I just put it up. So you just lean forward a bit. I'll just lean like this. <laughs> you got no hair. I had a haircut getting ready for our Melbourne event. Um... We're off to Melbourne tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so we'll Who's talk in about Melbourne? that. Let us know if you're in Melbourne and you're going to come see us. Luan, is it? Is that right? Robin Elwood's watching. G'day, Robin. Uh, D. Hi, D. Wave back to Robin. We'll also wave to Tara Melissa. up there on the Sunshine hey, Coast. Melissa. Hey, Agatha. Hey, Tammy, welcome, you guys welcome. are rocking it. Check you out. All right, pop your name oh, in. G'day, Claire. I'm welcome. Nearly, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> just hey, keep Tony, doing what you're doing. Wave to Tony. Danny, oh, I missed it. Missed it. Edith uh, says, I'll be there. Edith's going to be in Melbourne. Awesome. Hey, Tara. Hey, to Tara. So, hey, who else to, we got hey, out to there? Hey, to Tara. So, again, if you've Claire, just joined we'll us, see you, Claire, too. Yay. pop your details in. Let us know you're here. And if you're in Melbourne, tell us you're in Melbourne. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Lee and I fly out tomorrow. Oh, look, we got a big love from... Uh, who's uh, that from? Oh, that's from Kelly. Kelly. It is. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks. We love you too. We won't see you tomorrow, but we'll see you in Sydney. Why, why Maybe. Sydney? No, she's, she'll come down to Brisbane, I reckon. Oh, Brisbane. Or yeah. wherever you want to come she's, join us. She's up north of us. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, Agatha says she's booked, booked in and very excited. Awesome. <laughs> Tony Gorman on the hey, sunny from coast. Sweden. Welcome. Hey, Thoa. Is it Thoa? Yeah, Wonderful. Thoa, Thoa from Sweden. Very Welcome. cool. Hey, Janet. Janet's there. Michael's Hi. joined us. Look at you guys go. Kelly said Michael. yes. Are you saying yes to me, Kelly, or yes to Simon? I don't know. We need yes. to know. We Jeff Nixon, know. welcome. Great to see you. <laughs> Give you a wave back, Jeff. <laughs> Um, we've and got we've some other got people Debbie coming. Sue, Sydney. <laughs> okay, so I said Sydney. Oh, you said oh, Sydney. I said oh. Sydney. He's oh, wrong. I lose on that one. He was right. <laughs> you were. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. You were <laughs> right. right. <laughs> As always. All right, well, let's get started. What's okay. our topic? Great topic. We are talking about what's holding you back. So what is holding you back? What's holding you back no, in you're your holding life? me back. No. <laughs> Wow, really? I'm joking. Okay. I'm joking. <laughs> See how things change really quickly. Sophia from Melbourne. <laughs> I haven't been home for five days and I've just been told I'm holding you back. <laughs> joking. Oh What's my God. Well, let's back? move on. I won't focus on that. I'll focus on something more positive. <laughs> so, um, literally, I, I, left you, I left here. Absolutely. I left here last Thursday. My um, my mum's been in hospital, uh, for those that don't know, on the Sunshine Coast. I've been up there since Thursday. And um, we got some good results today, which is good. So yes. um, I was able to leave and drive back to the um, Gold Coast for just for this Facebook Live. That's just it. saying, just saying. <laughs> and then, of course, tomorrow morning, Lee and I are off to Melbourne. Uh, we've got... Uh, so let's talk about why, why we're going to Melbourne. We've got our um, we've live got business presentations. We're doing a tour around the country. Uh, Lee and I are involved in heading up every location, pretty much. Um 
in Australia, that is. You're definitely going to every location in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, I might go to Adelaide. That's still on the side of If she lets me, if I'm good. <laughs> Um, you behave. So we go to Melbourne tomorrow. We've got a business presentation. <laughs> Lee and I are heading up the business presentation in Melbourne tomorrow evening. So we look forward to uh, any you're of you the guys. Main man. I'm the main man. Main man. <laughs> and you're the main woman. <laughs> I'm, I'm the main woman. We're the only man and woman. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, uh, we're heading up the presentation in Melbourne. We have got a bucket load of people oh, registered. Oh, my gosh. Let me even let you know a little sick. Let me know a little sick. I can't tell no. me. No. Oh. No, tell just going to say it's going to be a full house. Can I tell them how many distributors no. are registered? No. Put it this way. we got more people registered. We're like, we're selling like an over, like a plane actually. What do they do on a plane? What do they do on a plane though? They they anyway, oversell planes. So it's that, fine. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's what, that's us. Lots of awesome people there, which are very It's going to be a packed house. Yay. So we're at a packed house in Melbourne tomorrow and then we're just there overnight, fly back into the Gold Coast and then next week you're off to Adelaide. Oh, so then there's the UK event, so those over yep. that way, 15th of Feb in the UK at uh, King's Cross. Um, Hi, Margaret. Thanks for joining us. That's happening. And then next week is Adelaide, next Thursday. So it is all happening. And you're uh, you're going down and handling Adelaide with Kirsty at this stage. Yeah, Kirsty's the main man. <laughs> Unless I get a reprieve, I might end up down there and uh, no, Kirsty, put my Kirsty, two cents worth in. No, Kirsty's the main, the main yeah, woman. Yeah, that's all right. She can be the main woman. I, I could be the MC down there or yeah, something. Yeah, you can MC. We'll let you MC. <laughs> um, so anyway, so looking forward to uh, Adelaide. And then the following week, where are we going? Where are we off to? Uh, so then we've got Gold Coast, Gold Coast, Gold Coast on the, the following Tuesday, week. Uh, the Wednesday the 26th. Wednesday the 26th. Uh, then we've got Perth, the Saturday the 29th. And yes, anyone over in Perth, Yay. Lee and I are flying across to Perth to run the event over there. And then uh, then we've got the 4th of March is Sydney, 5th of March is Brisbane. So we fly down to Sydney, come back to Brisbane. And then the 7th of March is New Zealand. Is New Zealand. So Yay, we're... and there's some Canadian ones, there's South Africa and there's... Yep. Las Vegas. Vegas, there's heaps of other ones in there that we're not going to, but there's other events. So, if hey Gail, thanks for joining us. Hi Colette, you've got we'll see you there. To go. Thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Just give you a wave back there, Gail. And um, so, if you've just joined us, pop your details in. Let us know you're here. Um, Tara says she hopes to be on the Gold Coast and then Brisbane. You hope, Tara? hope, what? hope. What's hope? <laughs> we Is don't it? know what that word means. You can either choose to be there or to, or not. <laughs> All <laughs> uh, right. See, language. Language. How do we speak to ourselves? So anyway, what's holding you back? Well, that can hold you back. Yeah. Saying the, hope. The, the, the word hope. That, the word hope will hold you back. Way, Whatever you do. The way that you speak um, and what you say and what and, you believe. Uh, and Nikki, Nikki says, yay, because I know she's over in WA and I've told her we're coming over there. Awesome. So that's pretty exciting. We'll get to uh, meet you in person, Nikki, and um, say good day. Mm. Um, I will. <laughs> I will. Good. Okay. Um, so let's let's talk about what's holding you back. So in life, in life we can get held back in all sorts of situations. It can be um, family matters. It can be held back with our health. It can be held back with um, uh, having kids. Right? If you've decided to have kids, you can hold hold back that decision of things. You can get hold back held back in a career. Mm -hmm. um, you can hold yourself back in relationships. Um, but what, what's holding you back, and why is it holding you back? Well. I guess the first thing, Lee, that comes up for me is um, why you don't achieve things in life and what holds you back is about getting stuck in drama glue. So we've got Shushi, just hello to you. Hi to Azza over there in uh, New Zealand. to come to New Zealand. I uh, hope you both come to New Zealand. Well, it's it's on the cards. It's we're going to talk cards. about that after this. We'll talk about that later <laughs> tonight. It's the first time I've been home in five nights, so um, we'll do some catch up. So what's holding you back? It's talk drama glue. You can get stuck in your past mm -hmm. and... When people get stuck in the past, what they do is they retell their stories. And over they, and over and over. And over, over again. And over. And they want to share those stories with others. So when you meet up with friends, you talk about what didn't work for you. And you talk about what failed and what didn't go right, whether it's a relationship, whether it's business, whether it's your parenting, whether it's your issues with your parents, whether it's uh, issues with your health. Um, and it's called stories and we can buy into our own stories and we can um, create drama glue around it. You get stuck in the drama glue. And then and that, that create, well, that creates then your reality, right? So whatever that is that you're focusing on and thinking about and believe is true, guess what's going to happen? Absolutely. So you're going to get more of what you focus on. So, um, so it's what we focus on. It's also our language, of course. So what we speak, we speak into reality. So you want to be careful about what you're speaking in how you're speaking and the language that you're using because that can hold you back. 
So if you're talking about, I, I hope I can do this or I, um, I'm not sure whether I'll go there. I'll try. I'll try. Um, you know, these are things that will hold you back. Uh, so moving forward in life is about um, uh, focusing on the positives. So one thing to do, Lee, would be just, you know, why, what's holding you back? So how do we stop that? Well, the first thing I would do is look at, um, so out of anything negative in life, there's always two things you can look at. And this is what I've learned. And that is, number one, what's good about it? So what's good about the negative situation? I just came home and I told you my daughter had a, a, a slight accident in her car today. Slight accident? Mm-hmm. She just drove out of a car park and sideswiped the pole, which was standing she wants still. I everyone to know that. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> the thing is, is that what's good about it? What's good about it is that she didn't get hurt and neither did anyone else, right? Mm-hmm. So that's a positive. So even though it's a negative situation, um, she, she could let it hold her back from... Um, having a good day or just moving forward or or even driving, right? She could be paranoid about driving or and that could hold her back from um, going and doing that in the future. But if she focuses on what was good about it, so what was good was that nobody else got hurt and I didn't get hurt. And then the second thing you want to ask yourself is what can I learn from it? So what look can out, I learn from out, Look out for poles when I'm reversing. <laughs> That's right. Pay more attention <laughs> in a car park when I drive out that I don't take the pole with me. So actually look around the car before you get in the car to <laughs> yes. see what's there. And I said to her, it's okay, honey. Do you remember when I wiped out the front of my Lexus on a yellow pole in a car park? I reversed. It was in my blind spot. I didn't see it. I swung the car to back it out into the main part and I took out the front <laughs> corner of my Lexus um, and the whole headlight system and everything, one of those yellow poles. It just jumped out at me in the car yeah, park. Yeah, yeah, Can I tell you a funny story? Yeah. I haven't told you. Oh, okay. So yesterday I went to Pacific Fair with my girls and we went to the movies. And, and I'm betting that. you lost the car. We lost the car. <laughs> See, 15, and I know. 15 minutes it took us to find the car. <laughs> I'd already done the car. You know, you've got 15 minutes or whatever it is to get out once you've paid the oh, yeah. thing. I'm like, we're going to be stuck in here because I can't find the car. <laughs> Literally could not find the car. So what did you do? Did you go to um, Siri and ask it where, oh, where you parked? We couldn't figure out how to do that. You have to show me how to do that. Oh, Google Maps tells you. I, we looked. We oh. couldn't find it. So okay. anyway, so I'm like trying to figure out in my mind. Okay, so we parked near the green wall and then we figured out there's three of them All in right. the car park. So didn't, didn't you know which entrance you came in? No. <laughs> okay. Usually she Jayla did. remembers these things since she didn't. Uh, but then I remembered. Yeah, Michael, uh, Michelle, sorry. <laughs> Michelle, hi. Debbie Sue, hi. But then I remembered we that we went down the ramp to get in. Yep. And then Jayla's like, no, it's on this level. I'm like, but that level's light and it's not underground. So it's the level under. So we found the level. Yep. And then she's like, I'm like, it's a, near the green wall. Like It was a green building thing and there's three of them. So we're like, we walked to the perimeter <laughs> around the green <laughs> And we found it. So what was holding you back from finding the car? Um, my memory of where we parked. Memory of where you parked. See, that was me being oblivious yeah. to where, because oh, I don't go to Pack Michelle Fair. says Pack Field is at Pack oh, Fair. Pack Fair. Pack it Field. It is. Pack Fair is amazing. And I've done this before at Pack Fair. <laughs> it is amazing. So Pack time. Fair is a shopping centre for all those that don't know. Well, the first time I went to Pack Fair, I lost the car. Oh. And I ran into another guy who lost his car. And oh. we were both walking opposite ways. Oh, cars. Um, so I've done it before and didn't learn. So I guess, I guess from that, there's a couple of things that you will learn. No, number yeah. one is um, look where I parked exactly and know where you parked your car. Take a picture of the yeah, you can take letter. a picture of where you parked. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, the other one is uh, tell Google to remember or Siri tell I've remembered to parked at green you know level blah blah. Uh, or go to Google Maps and work out where the cars parked. So Faye, I did that. Didn't work. <laughs> Walking here, pressing the I pressing did. the remote, the yeah, alarm, trying work. to get the car to unlock. Didn't work. <laughs> well, you got to be in the vicinity. We we found two Mercedes that looked like mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't have love life on the number plate. No. Anyway, it's all right. Well, let's let's get back on <laughs> onto our topic. So, what's holding you back? So, we talked about a couple of things that can hold you back in life, and then we talked about um, I just mentioned about two good things, right? So, one is uh, what's good about it. So, if something's holding you back, ask yourself um, what's good about it. And what can I learn from it? They're two really powerful things. So you always look at a negative situation and turn it into a positive, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so the other thing about holding you back, Lee, is, is we spoke about not getting stuck in your drama glue. Mm-hmm. But most importantly, you've got to give yourself space to move forward. Yeah, absolutely. So how do you do that? I don't know. You tell me. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give you an example. Um, and I don't know if this is a good example, so it's just going to come out anyway. So let's say you're single, right? Yep. And you really want to find the right partner. Yep. And so, but you sleep in the middle of the bed, your car is parked in the middle of the, the garage, you fill the wardrobe with all your clothes. Yep. Are you allowing space to find somebody? No, you're not. No. No. You're putting out to the universe that you live a single life. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So that would be one way you could create space is create space for, so you'd put your clothes in half the wardrobe, you sleep on one yeah. side of the bed, you put, so, you know, you've got to create the space for the things that you want. So for example, if you want new dresses, you've got to clear out your dress and dresses out of the, the wardrobe. <laughs> is this story going somewhere? <laughs> yeah, I've got Eden to sell some more dresses today. <laughs> I'm thinking there's some underlying thing going on in this story. <laughs> You got any other any other uh, analogies that you want to share? That <laughs> there's like cryptic hidden messages amongst them. <laughs> no. We're going to get off this. She's going to say, "Oh, by the way, look at this great dress that I bought yesterday." Yeah, I'll show you that later. Faye says, uh, <laughs> "What was it?" Lee, stop describing me. <laughs> uh, well, Faye, but no, there is a new dress I need to show you. But okay. We'll talk about that later. That's, I had I needed a presenting dress right for the event right, and right. Jayla picked it for me and she right. made me buy it because she thought it looked amazing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right. So, um, so what else can you do? Um, what else you can do to move yourself forward is actually look at your successes. So look at your past and we're talking about people get stuck in their drama glue. They want to look at their problems and they want to focus on what went wrong and what was going negative in their life. And rather than um, what have I succeeded at? What, what have I done great in my life? What have I achieved the ideal result. And it could be something small, like count your wins. That's really important, right? Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. count your wins. So you're putting yourself in a, a different vibration and you're focusing on um, things that are positive in your life, not things that are negative and uh, allowing you to get stuck in your drama glue. What else? Uh, I'm all out. You're all out. <laughs> well, you've got to draw on your feelings. Mm-hmm. You've got to draw on the feelings yeah. of wanting to um, create goals. Right. Yeah. So what's holding you back is that if you don't have goals to aim for, then you're going to get stuck. Yeah, because you've got no direction. No. So, yeah, so you've got to so have something you're excited about. Yeah. So a driving factor or a, a yep. why, you know, a reason. Yeah. Well, you've got to get outside your comfort zone too. And when you're getting outside your comfort zone, you're going to, uh, you're going to uh, face a level of fear, right? Mm-hmm. So everyone get, faces fear because it's the fear of the unknown. I've never done this before. Can I do it? Will it work for me? And all these things, that's mindset. That is going to hold you back. Mm -hmm. So it's it's also about creating clear choices and decisions around um, doing things. So it could be a task. It could be something you're learning new, right? It could be um, learning how to market our business online, Mm -hmm. right? So when you're learning to do that, it's totally foreign and totally new. You can either allow it to hold you back and not learn how to become... Uh, proficient at placing ads or marketing. Yeah. Or you could actually make a decision to just go and learn something new and then count your win at the end of the day and say, right, what did I learn today? Mm-hmm. So I had a win today with my advertising, didn't I? I was you did. to. Yeah. So I had some ads <laughs> disapproved while I was over in Thailand a week ago, um, some video ads, and I was annoyed by it. I thought, oh, well, I'll get to it. And I left them and they were just disapproved sitting there and I was waiting to get them approved and... I thought, you know, yesterday I was at the hospital with my mum and I had time, so I got a bit of work done. I thought, oh, that's something that I need to address. Mm -hmm. So I went into Facebook and I thought, you know, I'll make some changes to the landing page Mm -hmm. because they were saying it, you know, had certain, not the landing page, but they're saying I was related to a business that I'm not to, Mm -hmm. that I'm not related to. So I thought I need to improve some things on the landing page. I'll take a couple of things off that I thought might um, trigger that. And, uh, And then I... Uh, basically um, told them that I was a legitimate business and that this is why I'm advertising and just put a big case together and asked to be reviewed. Mm-hmm. And they both got approved today. Yay. So, um, you know, that was, again, that's a, an example of what's holding me back. So what was holding me back was that um, I got ads disapproved. The second thing was I hadn't got back to get them fixed. And you were annoyed. Yeah, well, a only momentarily. Yeah. I got over it. Yeah. I thought, oh, it's stupid Facebook. <laughs> Here <laughs> we are. Here we are doing a Facebook Live. <laughs> doing a Facebook Live on Facebook. Facebook. We do. We what love Facebook. What are you Facebook. talking about? Um, but they're very rigid with their rules and But we love Facebook. Yeah. Um, so, so anyway, so we got the marketing back up and my ad's got approved, which I'm super grateful for. And, uh, 
you know, I didn't make it a thing. Um, I didn't allow it to hold me back. I didn't allow it to um, derail me. So I looked at what can I do? What can I do differently? Made some decisions and made some changes. And then what can I learn from it? Well, what I can learn from it is I'll make those changes to the next ad that I run mm. so that it's more likely it's going to get put up straight away. Awesome. So that's that. Um, now, what else? What do we got here? Some comments. Uh, Rowenda few, says, actually. hey, guys. We've missed a whole part. Oh, do we? Oh, Joe Bell. Oh, Joe Bell says, hi, mm. Oliver, uh, Oliver Bennett. Hi, Kelly. Kelly says she'll oh, have no clothes or shoes left. Who? Kelly. Oh, if she throws out her clothes mm. to make way for new mm. ones? Mm. Right, okay. Uh, what else have we got? Um, hello, hello. Uh, Dennis says, uh, hey guys, great to be here. Um, though, has anyone else experienced buffering issues? Maybe due to the weather. Maybe, or um, log out and log back in. Could be our internet, maybe. Joe Bell is watching. We'll wave to Joe Bell. So hi to you, if I can wave. There we go. Um, Shushi says, fear of holding me back. The stream is dropping out. Yes, okay. Collect. Then Claire, so, Claire says no, no issues. No issues where I am Dennis. Hey, guys. Um, I'm aware my goals are inconsistent because I hold myself back from fully making the decision to go for them. Okay, Tara. Well, that's, um, that's true. That's holding you back, right? If you're not totally committed to your goals, then it's gonna hold, you're going to hold yourself back. Yeah. Um, Georgia says, thanks for sharing your wisdom, guys. Thank you, Georgia. Uh, no worries. Um, and, and this is just our perspective, right? This comes from uh, us applying these learnings and these teachings in our own lives. This is mm -hmm. where we get all this from. And what we're doing is picking a topic out of the personal development program that our company produces and that we work with. And we choose a topic every week that uh, we'd like to share and talk about so we can share our perspective and Get your perspective. So and each of these topics actually have exercises and different things that you work through in the program. I do. Mm -hmm. And it's a great program and something that Lee and I have both been a part of for many, many years. And uh, it, it certainly gives us a different way of looking at things. And uh, um, we become more involved, more evolved, I should say, involved. We certainly became involved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we become more That's evolved. <laughs> we become more evolved as individuals when you work harder on yourself than you do on anything else, right? Absolutely. So um, it's it's just about a self awareness. It's the language we speak. It's the um, it's having the the tools and the strategies available to you to address things that come up in your life. So quickly, because we're going to have to wrap <coughs> soon. So I need to go pack my bag and pack my dresses for tomorrow. Um, so share with us what is it? Do you what is it that's holding you back? What is it you feel that's held you back in the past or is holding you back right now? Tara says. Our power box on the street literally blew up last night from lightning. Wow. And now our internet modem is not working. I'm not letting it hold me back. I will work from the library until it's fixed. Well, you can, but um, hopefully you've got mobile service, mobile phone coverage. and She's you in just, Yeah, yeah. So, and use hotspot, right? So, you can hotspot your mobile phone um, if you've got good coverage. But th that's right. You, you don't let it hold you back. You've just got to, what else can I do? What's the other option? Like Our I said, internet's been dropping out too, so I've just been hotspotting. Yeah, you can go to the library. That's one option. Um, the other option is uh, reach out to a friend and go and sit at their place. Find a friend. <laughs> Coffee shop. You know, there's plenty of places out there that have free internet and free Wi-Fi. There's a nice place that makes cheese in uh, Mulaney. <laughs> there is. In, in the street, there's in the main street. All right, what else we got? Tara says, yes, I'm using my phone tonight. Ah, cool. Good, good. Um, awesome. So what else? Any any comments? Anything you'd like to share? What's held you back? Have you got a situation of something that you can think back to that held you back? And um, maybe you've learnt now not to allow it to, but what was it that held you back? Was it your mindset? Was it your stinking thinking? Was it you're stuck in your own story? You got stuck in some drama glue in the past and it held you back? Um, was there... What else? Was there... Um, people that held you back? Did you allow yourself to be influenced by others? That's another thing that can hold you yeah, back. Yeah, absolutely. That's a big one. Don't let other people influence you and hold you back from achieving your dreams and goals. Uh, Claire says, my health has definitely been holding totally. me back the last 12 months and taken all my focus and I allowed it to. It took me a while, but I have shifted my mindset and I have improved greatly. Awesome, awesome Claire. Claire. That's, that's great. And I, I can <coughs> see that totally, that you know, when you've got health challenges, that they can be big things. Um, you know, that can hold you back in life. Um, Tara, money story, lack of it. Yeah, we can buy into that story and, you know, money doesn't grow on trees, right? We don't have enough to do that. But that's about changing your language. You know, we we're, choosing, we're choosing not to spend <laughs> our money in that area at the moment. 
That's what I say to my kid, my son, if he wants something. I don't let others influence what it, uh, hang on, let's just go back a bit. I don't let others influence my decisions anymore, says Robin. <coughs> well, particularly working for somebody, right, Robin? Working in a job, um, your decisions can be influenced by others mm. totally. So um, that's a big thing. And past relationships as well. Hey, Lexi. Um, sorry, a little late, somebody said. That was uh, um, Jacinta. Oh, look, my daughter's on. Hello, hey, Lexi. daughter. Lexi. <laughs> um, um, what are the Lexis? Um, Janet says people pleasing for too many years, not anymore. Well, that's going to hold you back. Pleasing other people, you're not actually going after what it is that you want, right? Edith says I got caught up in the I'm too busy story and have now realized that I make time for the important things. That is so true. Um, we all have time in life and we all have the same amount of time, but what matters is is actually how we use that time, right? And they say if you want something done, give it to a busy person, right? Exactly. So that can hold you back, right? Telling yourself a story. I don't have enough time or I, I can't do that or I'm too busy, Yeah. right? That's, um, it's certainly a phrase that's going to hold you back. So anyone else got anything to share about what's held you back in the past? Something that, uh, whether it's a relationship or whether it's um, something that you've done, whether it's a job in a workplace or just some choices that you made that uh, have held you back in life. Oh, I just got a love heart for my daughter too. Oh, we love you too, Lexi. <laughs> um, so, you know, don't get stuck. Um, talk, uh, Go on with what we've spoken about tonight, about mm -hmm. uh, looking at what's good about it. So look for the good in the negative situation. Um, ask yourself, um, what can I learn from it to moving forward? Jeff says, I have been uh, Step, selling um, farm equipment. equipment, livestock to raise the money to go to the next level. Good on you, Jeff. Well, that's that's great. Commitment. You know? And that's what are you prepared to do? That's that's really important. Uh, Thoa says the fear has been holding me back is a self-limited belief that I am I can't, can't be, be a the leader. leader. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's scrolling. I can't me. be a leader that I want to be. My English is not, not good, good enough, enough to express it. myself. Well, yeah, it is. Well, we can un <laughs> we can totally unless you've got some English translation <laughs> translation app. Your your English text there is. Is great. Actually, probably better than the English on English people that I know. <laughs> no, I think though, you know, Ooh, I, I like think rocking it here. I think you've got to um, be careful. Like you said, be careful getting stuck in your own story about your English and about that that's going to hold you back from creating success. You know, there is so many multicultural people in society where we live today and all over the world. And we all have our differences. We all speak different languages. However, at the end of the day, we all communicate and I don't think anyone holds communication back from or judges somebody and I think that's really important so just believe in yourself that you can do anything um, and I think that's you know you will you can create that I'm trying to like uh, Kelly that. says mine is not having success in my ads letting other daily things get in the way of my goals. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, that's good. Colette says, having a full-time job. Well, that's going to hold you back, totally. <laughs> hold you back totally. from being, oh, <laughs> sorry, hold you back from being successful in the business. Um, D says, scattered focus has held me back. Rather, too many areas of focus all at the once. Choose where to spend my time and activities accordingly with goals. Yeah, look, at, I mean, that's another thing that can hold you back is time management, right? Not being... Not being good at time management, um, that can certainly hold you back from being on purpose and creating um, results, and yep. results will drive to lead to success. So that's important. Mm -hmm. Yep, Absolutely. Well, with that, I think it's uh, time to wrap and go and pack the bags. So the, uh, the learning from this little, um, this little uh, Facebook episode this evening about what's holding you back is um, create space, uh, clear uh, positive thoughts, so focus on the positives. Um, have goals of where you want to go and what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. um, so be clear on those. And um, remove negative people from your environment who are going to hold you back. And um, choose your environments wisely. And, and you know, you want to be mentored by people that are, that are on purpose and going out there and creating results. Um, so be careful who you surround yourself with because mm -hmm. um, those people can hold you back. And they can be real yes. stoppers. Absolutely. Jacinta says, personal things have held me back. Shushi says, finding excuses not enough time. I miss that. Focus. Um, Dee, thank you. Safe travels. Tara, have a great trip. Thanks for your time. We will. Thank you. Thanks, so guys. Um, we're going to uh, We're going to get out and pack for Melbourne tomorrow, and we'll be looking forward to seeing some of you uh, at our live business presentation for our business down in Melbourne tomorrow, being hey. held at the Manningham Club 
Manningham Club and Hotel or Hotel, hotel and, and Club. Club. Yep, in Berlin. So um, mm-hmm. we'll look forward to seeing you there. Awesome. And uh, look forward to our Facebook Live next week. So it's going to be Mondays for the next few weeks because we've yep. got all the events. We've got on, all these traveling. So See, uh, we'll see you Monday, 7.30, same time, just on a Monday as it was today. And so we'll have a great new topic. We will. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.